Chapter 11, Lesson 4, Mean Absolute Deviation. Mean Absolute Deviation, or MAD for short, is the average distance between each data point and the mean. This is used to determine how much the data varies. Here are the steps. Step one, you wanna calculate the mean, which is the average. Then you wanna find the distance between each data point and the mean. These are called absolute deviations. Then you find the mean or the average of the absolute deviations. Example one, the table below shows the eight fastest pitches thrown in a single baseball game. Find the mean absolute deviation of the data set. So step one, we wanna calculate the mean. So to calculate the mean, we add together all the numbers in the data set and divide by how many numbers are there. So there's two, four, six, eight numbers in the data set. So first we're gonna find the sum and then we're gonna divide that sum by eight. The sum of the numbers in the data set is 700. So now we're gonna divide that by eight and that gives us 87.5. So we calculated the mean, so we completed step one. Step two, find the distance between each data point and the mean. So what I like to do is draw a line, and I'm gonna put all the data points on this line in order from least to greatest. Now that I have all the numbers, I'm gonna include my average. Now I'm gonna use that to find the distance from that average 87.5 to every other number on the number line. So to start, I would do what is the distance from 87.5 to 75. You would subtract those and that would be a distance of 12.5. And then we need to find the distance of 87.5 with 79. So again, subtract 87.5 minus 79, and that's 8.5. And we want to continue this with the rest of the numbers. So 87.5 minus 83, 87.5 minus 84. Now when we get to the other side, 87.5 is less than these numbers, but we're still finding the distance. So now we're gonna start with the number on the number line, 88, and then subtract 87.5. So that's a distance of 0.5. 93 minus 87.5. 97 minus 87.5. And lastly, 101 minus 87.5. So that was step two. Step three, we want to find the mean of these numbers. So the same step that we did up here, find the sum and divide by how many numbers they, there are. We're going to do that again down here. So we need to find the sum of all of these numbers and then divide by how many numbers there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight numbers. The sum of all of these numbers is 58, and now we're going to divide that sum by 8, which equals 7.25. So our mean absolute deviation is 7.25. Something with a lower MAD has less variety in the data, and something with a higher MAD has greater variety in the numbers in the data. Follow the steps to try this one yourself to check for understanding. Then check your answer with the next portion of the video.